Hey guys, this is Coach Bill with uh, Bill Maybring Online Coaching. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Uh, today, guys, I, I have a topic. Um, some of you, some of you, have been asking um, a question about, you know, what are what are what is Emily and I doing this week as far as our fasting protocol and our workout? And I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I'd get on here real quick. Let me start my my clock here so I don't go overboard. But anyway, guys, uh, t uh, this past week, starting on Monday, Emily and I changed up our fasting protocol. And those of you that follow me know that we do um, alternate day intermittent fasting. Uh, we do uh, fasting mimicking meals. And we also drink um, hydrogen rich water, which is our source of drinking water for hydration and also helps us recover when we're you know when we're training because we train pretty hard but anyway um so this week it, it's time it was time for us to make a change and you guys know that follow me too that i mix things up all the time not just my fasting protocols but i like mixing up my workout also so i have two workouts i have workout one workout two Workout two is probably one of the best workouts I've had uh, through my 40 years of doing this kind of training. And what that is, it's interval strength training three days a week. And then I do three days of moderate cardio for good heart health. And my second workout is six days a week of interval strength training. And we do a split body part. Both of these workout guys are designed to add lean muscle and also burn that excess belly fat or body fat. They both are designed for, for that. Uh, be, but because of our way of life and how we've got our plan set, uh, we're able to work out six days a week, because even at our age, you know, I'm 70, I'm only 67, and keep adding lean muscle because we are naturally um, uh, producing our own muscle stem cells and also muscle building hormones, we're balancing those out. Um, and so that's why we're able to do these, these uh, hard training sessions and recover as soon as we walk out of the gym. But so this week, starting on Monday, Emily and I are doing what we call a 23-1. We do a clean fasting, not a dirty fasting, which, which means I drink black coffee with nothing in it. It's, there's no calories. For 23 hours, we will not have any calories at all. At the 23-hour uh, mark, we will break our fast with uh, about uh, four to five ounces of homemade kefir for good gut health and digestion. And to get our bodies ready for our main meal, which will be an hour later. Uh, in our well, when we break our fast, we not only do about four ounces of kefir, we also put in a scoop of um, right now I'm using the Dr. Axe multi collagen protein powder. So I'll put one scoop of protein powder to get some protein in me. Um, I won't add any fat, any extra fat at all. I'll put in some almond milk, which has a little bit of fat to it. And that's what we're going to break our fast with. That's what we're going to uh, get our gut ready so that we don't uh, irritate it when we have our first meal. Those of you that follow me know that it's very important to break a long-term fast easily with uh, something that's not going to irritate your gut. And then at 6 o'clock, we are going to have our main meal, and it's going to be a fasting-mimicking meal with uh, mainly veggies or a salad. We did this, uh, we're on our fifth day of, of this. Both of us have lost about three pounds. We are going to do it again tomorrow. Okay, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, guys, was our interval strength training. And I'll tell you, if when you're following our program, you're going to elevate your heart rate to about 75 to 85 percent when you're working out with the weights. Then on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays is our uh, moderate cardio day. We're still going to get, and, we're, and we do interval cardio. We're not do straight walking. We do interval uh, cardio, and so what that means is we're going to uh, we're going to make the resistance every other minute harder. 
But what we're doing there is that's not for losing body fat. We're not using that for losing body fat. We're using that because of our age and for good heart health. The interval strength training is what's going to help you lose that belly fat or body fat. The cardio, you want to look at that as more as good heart health and to get your endurance up. Okay, that's how we're doing it. And so uh, this whole week, we felt great. Matter of fact, today was an upper body workout interval strength training. And guys, I was super strong today. I felt great. Um, my blood sugar levels are probably down during my fasting times around 71. Emily gets a little lower. My ketone levels obviously are always up. I'm in ketosis. We both are in uh, therapeutic ketosis and therapeutic um, autophagy for about, I would have to say, well over 20 hours, both, both of us. But you guys got to remember, you can't just jump into doing this kind of a protocol without uh, certain steps and without teaching your body to burn that belly fat or body fat. We've been doing this for quite a few years now. So um, that's why we are, it's so easy for us to do a 23-1 this many days in a row. But I'm, again, I'm going to tell you guys, right now, uh, we both feel so good that we're going to go ahead and go 23-1 uh, tomorrow. Sunday, we're going to go do, we're, we're going to go to more of my uh, meal plan four that I have for my training clients um, in, my, in our uh, online coaching business, meal plan four. Once you become fat adapted and ketone adapted means that you're able to have some uh, some uh, low glycemic starchy foods like some, you know, berries, sweet potatoes, brown rice, anything that's low glycemic that won't cause your blood sugars to elevate. It'll, your blood sugars will stay at base. You know, rye bread, um, sourdough bread. You know, I, I, I used to be able to eat a sandwich, but now I can only eat one slice of bread per sitting because I've been away from starches for so long, but that's okay. So on Sunday, we're going to do our meal plan four, which is a higher uh, starchy meal, but our low, gla uh, low glycemic. Next week, starting Monday, we're going to go ahead and go back on this 23-1, and we're going to push for five straight days until Friday to see how we feel and to see if I can get some more of that body fat off my back. Uh, that's the hardest part of my body to get body fat off is my back. And I don't, it's, it's just one of those things. We're all different. Some people have a hard time getting it off their hips, especially for women. Some people have a hard time getting it off their uh, legs, especially for women. And of course, belly fat is probably one of the hardest, but I lost most my, all my belly fat. And so I don't, I, my belly, I mean, I've, I've got a six pack, so I don't, I'm not worried about that. It's my back that I would like to burn off some more of that body fat. So guys, that's what Emily and I are going to be doing next week. That's what we did for this week. Again, we both lost uh, three pounds each. Uh, at, that was as of this morning. And so we will, I weigh myself again probably next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, guys. So guys, if you want to know more about our online personal coaching, go to BillMaburyCoaching.com. You want to learn more about the hydrogen rich water that we are drinking that uh, our device has taken out 99.9% uh, .9 of all contaminants. It's got a very uh, technical uh, new uh, technology filter, inner, I mean, internal filter in the machine that actually takes out the contaminants. And that's what I'm really excited about. But you can go to my team, AlkaViva.com forward slash drink nature's water. If you look in the description section, you will see both the link to my online personal coaching website and also to the website that explains what hydrogen rich water is and explains the health benefits of molecular hydrogen H2 that's in every glass of hydrogen rich water. Oh, by the way, guys, our fasting protocols, our fasting mimicking meal protocol, and our hydrogen-rich water protocol, all backed by science. You guys have a great day.